gods are on their side. Here's Mohamed Amir. What has he got tonight? Is he going to be able to swing it? And ball that beautiful link to get the ball to curve in the air here. Face the call from the umpire. Here we go for the qualifier for the final. And he's off the mark with a beautiful shot square through the offside. Wonderful piece of timing from Kamran Akmal. The captain likes it. So do we. That's a wrong line to Kamran Akmal. He loves it there. Not only Kamran Akmal, the old Akmal brothers loves it there. Just a little bit outside the off stump. Didn't try to hit it too hard. Just lean into it. Beautiful stroke. A lot of things you like, you like about that boundary. To get off the mark with a four in a pressure match obviously will relieve some pressure. Edge and another four. Salmi on the move. Two balls, two boundaries. Love this game and love this atmosphere. Crowd are coming in all the time and the yellow swarm is here. Yellow v blue. Lovely square drive moments ago now. Some deft touch and soft hands to run it away past the slip court. Yeah, what what is missing in Mohamed Ahmed's bowling uh, in this tournament I've seen is he's not really swinging the ball back into the right hander, which we saw just recently in, in Australia tour. There was that attempted in Dipper. Just uh, put him off a bit, he's a little off balance. It was, Waka, at this very venue, at the start of this tournament, both he and Sahail swung it beautifully. They got the length right, and the pair of them, Sahail Khan and Mohamed Amir, did swing it on one evening. But then it seemed to have disappeared. Yeah. That last delivery did swing a little bit. I think it's a lot to do with his wrist. When he gets it right, he swings it, and he swings it big time, those big banana swings. And that's when he becomes really dangerous. And that's when he picks up early wickets. Just working the angle on this occasion. If he gets cracking, then Kamran Nagmal could be a real asset for his batting unit. He is sweet square through the offside. And it's a good combination right and left hand. A lot of people in, a lot of colour, a lot of noise. Milan got a 50 in the last game. And uh, you guys have been very keen to feel the right and left hand combination just to put the paces off their, off their target. Even the spinners have been keen because at times the left arm angle hasn't worked against a left hand batsman. Down, plays it late. I think when when you're not really swinging the ball, especially a left arm uh, is not swinging the ball back into the right hander, you you probably will like to bowl to the left hander. You'll feel better when you bowl to the left hander because the angle works for you, works in your favour. And I think uh, I think he'll be happy uh, bowling to the left hander, not to the right hander, because once he, he He's getting that shape. He won't mind the right-handers, which we saw earlier, but if he's not swinging, he'll be more happy to the left-hander. 